What's up guys, it is your boy Jay and welcome to a brand new series on the channel and today we are starting our brand new career mode here on FIFA 22. I recently finished the FIFA 21 career mode and now we're going to start another one but we're not going to do a real club, we're not going to do a Wolfsburg or a Sutton United or a Hartlepool or an Aston Villa. We're doing our own club as you could have seen from the thumbnail and the new rebrand. JFC, we're going to be doing JFC, so let's put the name in, JFC, the nickname is going to be, um, what have we got, the Mad Lads, oh it doesn't even, you know what, I'll put the, I'll put the Mad Lads anyway, screw it. Uh, the short name will be JFC anyway, so I'm not sure what they'll worry about. And the thing here is going to be uh, J A J A Y. Yep, there we go. So we're going to be the JFC. We're going to be the Mad Lads. We're going to be in JFC, the short name, and J will be the abbreviation. Now, we're going to be starting all the way down in League 2, so this is going to take a very long career mode. But boy, am I happy to do it. Right, so who are we taking out? Tranmere are good this season. Oh no, Warsaw? No, I like Warsaw somewhat. Who are we taking out? Actually, give me two seconds, because I'm going to check who actually finished um, 22nd. In League 2 last season. That's what I'm going to do real quick. So League 2 2020-2021 table. And Cheltenham won the league. But apparently the last team to finish was Scunthorpe United. So I'm sorry Scunthorpe. But we're going to be replacing you. Now our rival are going to be Millwall. Because, no sorry Warsaw. Because I live like not that far from Warsaw. So it's going to be Warsaw. Right, create the kit and everything. Um, I'm going to do this off screen and then I'll show you the end result. So ladies and gentlemen, this is JFC. This, ladies and gentlemen, will be the home kit for this season. I will slowly drag it across. It is very, well, we're both using Umbro this season. This is a very Umbro-ish season. And this will be the kit. For the away, complete opposite of the red and white, so we will not clash. We are fine, unless we face a team in blue and a voice was screwed. This will be the crest, and we have updated um, Mr. Town Park to a bit more of a red, but I didn't get to rename it until now, so we're going to call it the subscribe subscribe park which i want you to do i want to everyone to subscribe uh go to subscribe park to watch jfc play yes this is how you get people to subscribe i think right advanced now i gotta have a million i, ca I can't go over five i gotta go with a million um we are a small club so please set us nicely uh, the overall rating is going to be a one and a half star. Yeah, that's right. We're starting at the bottom. And we're going to go with a balanced team. We need a bit of youth and we need a bit of experience. That's what we need. Uh, okay, advanced. Okay, so let's have a look. I am going to disable this for the first season. Let the stuff doors it out. Uh, we're going to have four minute halves. We're going to do it on uh, world class. Sterling, uh, the transfer window will be enabled, you will be disabled, and it's going to be strict. That's why right, it's going to be strict to the bone, to the T. We are not going to, you know, cut around it. We are going to struggle signing some of the bigger, higher players. We, we will have to rely on free agency. We'll have to rely on um, pre-contracts. We'll have to rely on, you know, the, the new free agent Thing that they introduced last season, where that just helped us, like, become the best club. Welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. 
And there I am, baby. The new manager of JFC. The brand new club for years to come. Right, okay. So there's a couple of things that I do want to check. Uh, the first thing is, I know how this works. If I go to the rest of the world, where did Scunthorpe go? Oh, Scunthorpe are just here. Like, for some reason, we can... I mean, I know Scunthorpe doesn't have any good youth players, but if they did, I would try and sign them. Actually, a lot of their players expire at the end of the year. If they're good, I'll, I'll be interested in bringing one, bringing one of them in. But there is one more thing that I do want to check, and that is Aston Villa, because I want to see if we have any good youth players. Okay, you're loan listed. You're great. You're going to be... Oh, your contract expires in a while. It's not you that I'm after. It's you that I'm after. It's you, Mr. Carney. That's the dude that I want. I don't want anyone else in this team. But I'll keep Archer in mind, because I want to see if he is actually that good potential. Plus, if I can, he says that he's available for loan. He just recently moved and won't join again. What do you mean? Okay, he's interested. You know what? We're going to start scouting him, and we're going to start scouting you two. Because I, I want this to become a very heavenly Aston Villa team. Just telling you everyone that straight up in the bat. Actually, there is another thing that I do want to check. Who are other youth players are in this game right now? Because this is just the exploration. Uh, exploration. Uh, Balogun. Lewis Bate. I know who you are. You used to play for Chelsea. Um, Jaden Braff. Four mil release clause. All right, I'm keeping my eye on you. Josh Brooking. I don't know who that is. I, who's Hugo Breno? Um, I know who Flynn Clark is. You signed from Peterborough in the offseason. Um, you... I'm going to say, I want people who I have never seen before in my life. I want to create a team full of nobodies. Like, um, hi, okay, no, you're good. B Dylan Hoogworth, who's Dylan Hoogworth? Um, oh, my boy, KK, i got to keep my eye on him too, because I know he's good. Who's Romeo? Okay, I'll keep an eye on you too. Uh, yeah, you're too good already. I'm not even going to look. Um, I don't know who you two are, but there seems to be a good amount of youth players. I know who you are. You're that dude that everyone keeps joking about because you sound like that dude in that one movie I have never seen. I'll keep my heart on put holes. Um, who else? Who else? Um, no one else really. Legit, no one else except you. How are you? How are you in the Premier League now? I'm. I'm glad you. Ha I'm glad you're here though. I'm, that makes me happy. But the thing is, can I even afford half of you? The answer is no. Yeah, I know the answer is no. Like half of you just moved, and half of you don't even want to be here. So we're gonna start scouting some of these players because, actually, no, you're a bit too easy. And so are you. Like I want, I want these people here. The I want the no names turning into the big names. But also, it's time to explore my club. Who do I have? All right, this is the main man, a 33-year-old called Theo Alexander. Well, actually, you want to know something interesting? I am actually going to try. Oh my God, to sell most of you. I have to. I have to sell everyone within their first year. I don't care how good you are. All of you are going to get transfer listed because I actually want to have a team of mostly real people by the end of the year. To be fair, I don't think any of you are realistically going to be good. That's the problem. We have to screw you guys off. I don't think there's going to be one player here. But wait, since I pulled a FIFA early, I know I have a youth player waiting for me. And who is it? Do we have the new Lewis Hayes? No, we have a guy called Jacob Haas, and we've got a guy called... Uh, okay, here's our main, di main guy, uh, Auguste Bouchette. You know what? This is the guy that we are going to have to try and build up. That is the guy we're going to have to try and build up, isn't it? I think the answer is yes. It's going to be. 
uh, who, who is it? Where is he? Bouchette might not be good now, but trust me, we're going to try. We're going to try. You know what? We're, we're going to put him up front. Yeah, we're we're going to make him a center forward. This is going to be our new guy. We're going to push this guy to the moon. Trust me, I know, this, I know how this works. As long as he plays and as long as he has a development plan, I think this guy's going to be the bee's knees. As long as he's the right position. Uh, not you. You. Let me actually have a look to see what you're good at. That's what I need to know. What are you good at? Uh, your defensive work's low, but your thingy is high. You could be a good right mid. Uh, your stamina will go up. Speed. Actually, I don't even know what determines what from what. I could easily make him a winger, because I don't even know what uh, position I want to play yet. But he's got a 4 3 2 one here. What if we make it a 4 because I, I always used to play 4-3-3 three, three over at um, the Wolfsburg career mode, and that went alright for me. So I think I might go for that. Make him a, shoot, a, center for, a shooting forward, though. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's... You know, I might just make him a left winger. Yeah, screw it, we're going to make him a left winger. Where is he? Where is he? You. We're going to make you a left winger, my dude. You're coming in. You're going to come in, and you're going to become a left winger. We're going to train you up, and we're going to try and make you the best dude we can. Okay, his weak foot is actually quite low, so we're also going to try and make him kind of better in that position. But wait, doesn't that cancel, doesn't that cancel out the... Yeah, you know what, we'll, ca we'll make him a left winger first, and then we'll decide what we're going to do with him. But yeah, he is. We've got 24 people at this club. Honestly, not a lot, and we have to improve that by the end of this episode. Problem is, we've only got a million. What, you really think I can afford all these Premier League legends who we can't even sign yet? Like, cool, we can get Cameron Archer, but honestly, I don't want to do that yet. Most of these are mostly for when we get to League One slash the Championship. That's when it gets interesting. But I think the thing that I really want to do is just try and find... A player that I can buy right now, sign, and then also grow up with the rest of the players. So I'll be back in two seconds when I find somebody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have found some players, but here's the problem. Okay, so we found this dude called Pierre Drummer. Oh, by the way, I am using a search engine to find these players. I am not a good scout. Uh, the problem is he is 1.7 mil and... Um, yeah, if I check my club's uh, finances, I don't have 1.7, I have 1.62. The only thing that I could really do is sell players and wait. That's the most I can do, to sell my players and wait. That's, that's the issue. Uh, we've also found uh, this guy called uh, Namadi Collins, but the problem is he won't move yet. We found this guy called Charis Chatsigravil, who won't move. We found this guy called Rav van der Berg, who won't move. We found Alex Robertson, who will. And we found Konya Boyce Clark, who will. And we found Bogard, who won't. But we could possibly move in for him soon. So, the plan is, we are going to scout the people who we can. So, Mr. Boyce Clark, Mr. Robertson, and maybe also Mr a drummer if we can get the money everyone else is either going to be a loan or free agency either way we need to change the look at this squad and we need to do it quick that's all i can say and you're going to be seeing that live as we try to progress next in this tournament oh it's just is it skipping training manage interruptions um training days bypass email stop yes Perfect. Can we get any transfers in? Do we have any received offers? Alright, at the moment we do not have a received offer, but we do need to get players off the, um, the, uh, thing. Uh, also, yes, I do have to play the best team I can. But, yeah, this will kind of have to do, won't it, lads? Yeah, we don't we don't have the best team right now, so we're just gonna have to try and deal with what we can. Uh, 
quick sim. Yes, I would like to quick sim. Thank you very much. As we draw our very first game as a club. Nice job, lads. Nice job, but we need the money. But we need the money. Rodriguez transfer offer. Right, okay. Are you someone who... Ha uh, who is leaving at the end of the season? Because if you are, I will happily take that money. Uh, who was it? Francisco Rodriguez. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Exeter City, if you want Rodriguez, I will happily take the 200k as long as the board doesn't stiff us. Um, you're 27. No, no, buy the player. You can buy the player, you know, and you will be okay. There we go. Oh, Wade transfer offer. 51 overall. Yep, let's get you out of here. As long wait, was you in your final contract? Um I should probably keep checking to make sure that they actually are in the final year of the contract. Um Yes you are. Okay, yeah, let's get you out of here. Let's get you out of here. Again, I think free agency might have to be a very good asset for players as we win our very first game as a club. And it's very likely we can advance through to the next round. Okay, you. What's your situation? What is your situation? Um, yeah, you got one year left on your contract. All right, you can go too. You can go too. All right, uh, yeah, I don't know that club, but if they want to give us money, then I will let them have our player. Okay, artist of 58 overall. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to go in for the loan. I'm going to delegate for a one-year loan. And hopefully we can try and get this guy in. Hopefully Phil do accept the offer. Because they're not really going to play Archer. I'll play Archer. Right, okay. Alexander. Very good. Is he on the final year of his contract? Because if he is, he has to go. Um... If he's not, he can stay. Nope, Alexandra is going to stay. But for, for the money that they're offering, no. Would I be stupid not to take it? I mean, if I, if I sell him, I can afford... Actually, give me a second, lads. We might actually have our very first signing of the season. If... We can af we can get this guy in. Okay, welcome him in. Yeah, crucial. He's going to be a crucial boy. Oh, five years. Thank you. Thank you. No release clause. No release clause. We're not doing that. Okay, he's currently on 430. So what if I push onto 2k with a 1k signing bonus? D play it safe. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have our very first signing of the season for 1.7k. We got drama in, baby. We have him in. We have our very first signing. And what's his rating? 60. And he's an exciting prospect. Well, let's make him even more exciting. We need to increase... His attacking rate. So he is going to go straight into the lineup. And we are going to make this work. Which means we're also changing up to a 4-2-3-1. And actually, in all fairness, if um, Boucher wants to become the next striker at the club, I wouldn't mind. You know what? Where's Boucher? Where's Boucher? You. I know I said about you coming a winger. Yeah, actually, yeah, you carry on being a, you, you carry on being a, uh, yeah. Thing is, I can't really find a striker to replace him with. <laughs> so I'm not sure it's exactly the best if he even goes at the moment. Because I can't really replace him. I mean, I, unless I play Bacon. But do I really want to play a 53 overall up front? No, that would be legit bad for me unless I go ahead and sign some free agents with the money. <sighs> Damn, I have just now put myself in a situation I don't want to be in. Right, okay, here's the plan. Stay to, stick to the rule of if he is on a one year or two year or longer, 
you reject the offer. No matter how good it sounds, you reject the offer and you at least keep the players who are here long term. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Alexander. Uh, you are going to stay with us for a League 2 campaign and honestly you might be the greatest thing that ever happens as we advance through to the next round of the European Championship. Yes Bacon, I am going to be looking for a new player. Congratulations for figuring that out. Right, let's have a look. So Mr. You're 65 overall. You are 64 overall. You're 63 overall. Damn, you guys actually could help me win the league. Okay, you actually are 659 overall, and you're 59 overall. I mean, you are better than Woods, and you have way more potential than Woods. If I can, if I can sell Woods, or any goalkeeper, any one of these three goalkeepers, because two of you, actually, you know what, okay, Woods, you're going on the transfer list, just so I can make some money off me potentially signing this young kid. But next up, we do have Mr. Borussia Dortmund 2 as we beat Borussia Dortmund in our first season. Yes, I know it's Borussia Dortmund 2 and I am doing the Master Books joke. But I am happy we're winning that as Mr. Alexander has to come back in and actually, you know, play a game. <laughs> come on, if we can win this tournament, we can get some money. Bentley, is this a goalkeeper? Oh, no, it's a winger. Um, do you have your final year sorted, Bentley? What's, what's, what's your situation? you got one year. Alright, if I can get just the money, I will accept it. It's about being smart. Let's delegate. Let's talk money. That's what I want to do. I want to talk money. I want to talk finances. Oh, okay, yeah, they're just they're talking to pay 200k. Yeah, sure, I don't mind paying, getting 200k. Mate, we are making money. And we are buying players. Come on. If we win this, we get a whole lot of money. We do! We win! Thanks to our new signing, we win on penalties. And we win our first pre-season tournament. Fantastic news. So how much money do we have now? We have 843k. Which means, you know what? We can celebrate with a signing. And what's a better signing... Then Mr. Alex Robertson from Ross County. I mean, yeah, I mean, is it okay if we can sell Burton? If we can sell Burton, because as much as I love making money, we also got to sell. We also have to sell. Okay, Fraser, who is this? This is a centre back. Um, again, the rule is if he's in his final year, we have to screw him off. I can't afford to lose players. Oh, yeah, um, actually, he is in the final year of his contract, which means, um, yeah, see you later, buddy. Sorry that you didn't even play a single game with us, but unfortunately, lad, there is money to be made for people who can't even realistically get in the first team. All right, all we got to do now is just make sure we can get some money. All right, we have a short transfer offer. I'm not sure if short is someone who... Wait, what happened to the Archer deal? Yeah, this is a poached loan. Yeah, we, uh, basic terms. One year. Yes, good lad. Uh, yeah, you want to have most of the money? Alright, sure, sure. There we go. Let's see if Archer will actually move, because I also have to make a lot of mo uh, loan deals. I'm coming to the realisation we might need to. But, again, we can't sell some of these players. Unless I look for, yeah, I can't really sell anyone else unless it's like some players that I need. But I'm going to keep short around because I like short. Loan declined. Yeah, Cameron Archer just outright said no. Which, again, is going to be a problem with getting people in the club. I'm, I'm just going to be straight up honest. Bouchette. 680k. No. No. No, no, no. He's, he's, he should, actually, he should be a winger by now. Yes, he is. So what is, what is he turning to? A 61 overall. I told you, I told you. This is football. This is football we're talking here. This, this is what we do. This is what we do. We, we're going to make these guys wingers too. Um, 
Yeah, why why would I complain about what we are doing right now? This is this is turning out to be fantastic. Actually, aren't you guys CDMs? Yeah, you're CDMs. So that means I also need to potentially buy a CDM or two. You know what? I have an idea. If I talk to Redding about Mr. Um, Boyce Clark. Okay, they want about um, 550k. Right, okay. Why don't I offer Ryan Woods plus 600k? Plus 600k. Yep, his original price plus a brand new goalkeeper. They want 570k. Um, proposed new of 560. Let's talk. Alright, there we go. We couldn't sell a goalkeeper, but at least we can get a brand new in. Alright, let's talk money. Uh, yeah, crucial, because he's better. Five years, now we're talking. No release clause, he's fine with that. Next to nothing at all. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys. Clark from Reading is our brand new goalkeeper for this season. We are going all in on the youth right now. We have a brand new goalkeeper. We have a brand new left winger, technically in Boucher. And we now have Mr. Boyce Clark, who will be in goal for the start of the season. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I have to find some lone players and I'll be right back with you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have looked at some lone players and I'll tell you who we got. So first off is Florian Balogun from Arsenal. Next up is Liam Delap from Manchester City. Next up is Luka Rakic from Brentford. Sam Greenwood from Leeds. Adrian De La Fuente from Villarreal. Samuel Diamani from Empoli. And Ragnar Ake from Frankfurt. Hopefully they all accept. They won't. Watch it go down. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't that every single one? Did no one? No, every one of us, every one of them reject us. We had everyone reject us. We'll just have to keep going. We'll just have to keep going. We'll just have to keep pressuring them. But hey, at least we keep some money for now. Because I still want to... We need to sign a defender. We do honestly need to bring a defender in. And it, uh, you would have been the perfect pick, Vanderberg. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think I might have to rely on the uh, free agents. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have signed some new free agents, hopefully to come up in the transfer history. Here we go. So, first off is Roland Varga, a left mid. we got Nikolai Elho, our new right back. We've got Ismail Ahmed as a new centre-back. We bought in Aaron Gunnarsson as a new CDM. And... I wait, I thought we bought in more. Yeah, Gunnarsson, Ahmed. And one, two, three. Oh, turns out we didn't actually sign that much. But yep, they've actually helped us increase our lineup numbers by a bit. And has actually made us a good team. I mean, what, what's our rating now? Um, you do that by going into import sheet. Uh, we are now, we're still one star, not going to lie, but this team could actually do some numbers if we just play the tactics right and just play good. Alright, I'm actually going to sim. When's, that, when's our first game? Alright, let's sim over to like the third. Let's see if we get any transfer offers or anything, because this episode's running longer than I needed it to be, but it's a first episode. It'll get smaller after this. Um, we have an offer for Burgess, and I'm just going to accept it regardless. Short, I'm actually going to keep you around, my guy. We we need numbers on the bench. That's that's it. We just need to keep numbers on the bench. We have a youth report. I mean, I could bring up Jacob Haas for numbers, and you know what? That's what I'm going to do. We're going to bring up Jacob Haas for numbers. We We need to. And actually, can we go for these youth players again? Or I still crossed. I don't even know what I'd go for them again, but they might be convinced with the fact they ain't gonna play. Barlow, who's Barlow? 
Oh, he's one of the goalkeepers. All right, yeah, get rid of him. Get rid of him. We don't really need him because we've bought in how many brand new players today? Let's have a look. Um, we've bought in... Um, yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. We have bought in six brand new players. Most of them are going to help us with the future. We've got um, Boucher, who hopefully can grow into a great player, given the circumstances. Uh, I also need Dromar to become a legend. And I also need um, Haas. Yeah, go on, Haas. Get on the bench, mate. Because trust me, you are going to be playing a lot as well. When Varga's tired, we bring you on and we give you some minutes. That's just the way it's going to be. So where where is Haas? Because I want to... Oh, he's already showing great potential. Great. Fantastic. What we've got to do is just make him a high attacking wide midfielder. And I think everything will be okay with the world. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of episode number one. We'll have a look at the transfers after the transfer window's over. But thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.